Now, Minister of Budget and Economic Planning, Senator Abubakar Bagudu, has emphasized urgent needs to empower the less privileged afflicted by poverty in the society. He made the emphasis at the launch of the End Austerity in Nigeria campaign in Abuja, which featured public discourse on ending poverty and inequality in the country. Senator Bagudu, in a message to the occasion, said this would ensure thriving opportunities for the less privileged in a contemporary society. ADBN's correspondent, Edidion Ebanga, tells us more in this report. Represented by Director of Macroeconomic Analysis in the Ministry, Mr. Felix Okonkwo, Senator Bagudu underscored the impact of poverty in fuel and terrorism, insecurity and unemployment. He urged citizens to take shared responsibility in addressing poverty and inequality across the nation. Addressing poverty is essential, not only for economic growth, but also for preventing conflict, insecurity, and, and um, mitigating the effects of climate change. Country Director of Action Aid Nigeria, a non-governmental organization, Mr. Andrew Mamudu provided alarming statistics during the event. He regretted that country's debt burden has increased by 300 percent between 2010 and 2020, reaching 31 trillion naira. This figure he further regretted in 2024 reportedly rose to 91.4 trillion naira, highlighting the pressing need for immediate action. Nigeria's socio-economic landscape has shifted dramatically with consequences that have been particularly harsh to, uh, on the most vulnerable members of our society, women, children, and the poor. According to our latest research, we have the 133 million B persons that is living in multidimensional poverty. In a presentation, lead director of Center for Social Justice, Barista Eze Oyekpere, discussed negative impacts of austerity measures on poverty and gender inequality in the country. Austerity measures is like salvation. To be born again is a personal decision. And I told him that in his family he's already practicing austerity. Because he's no longer driving cars the way he used to because he can't afford them. Possibly you may have downgraded the schools your children are going from the 500,000 one to 200,000 or to public schools. That's austerity. Mr. Mamadou also advocated for transformative solutions urging key stakeholders and development partners to collaborate in addressing country's challenges. Didion Ibanga, ADBN News.